So hey everyone, I'm so super excited. I have Naoko here and uh, she's been, you know, doing some amazing leadership training with me. Naoko is currently in Japan. She's living in Kyoto and she's supported 3000 women around the world with daily posture movement practice through 10,000 lessons in her 17 year career in New York and Japan. She teaches privately and also has taught acting, dance school, domestic violence shelter, old folks home, New York Fashion Week runways, and so much more. And her passion is guiding women to their higher wish and higher challenge with health and beauty. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much to having me. I'm so excited to be here with you. Wow, I'm so super excited. And tell me, like your you spent 17 years in New York. And um, that's probably why your, your English is so good. Your English is amazing. Tell me like, how did you, why did you start, you know, why did you want to go to New York and pursue Alexander Technique? Yeah, so I was born in Kyoto, Japan. That is the most, I could say, conservative city. It's beautiful, historical, but conservative. So when I was younger, always I feel I want to go out. I want to go out. I don't want to be caged in this uh, lot of rules or, you know, when, I, when we were younger, we want to see something different. So always I have dreaming, I want to get out of this city. So <laughs> I just jumped out. That's very, uh, you know, animal-like instinct. Okay, I got to get out. Otherwise, I have to be in a box in a cage. That was my uh, first, yeah, reason. Yeah, because Japan is is very conservative already. Um, and we hear so many stories of like, you know, how tradition, it's so traditional. And Kyoto, I've been to Kyoto, is such a beautiful place and definitely a very traditional place. Did you have to, to ask, like, I mean, explain it to your parents? Were they... Did I understand? Yeah, so first, you know, I was lucky my mom has a um, good friend in New York. So I visited her. So that was a great excuse. Oh, I can okay. jump into New York. But uh, first it's good, oh, just traveling or studying it's good. But when I decided to open up my business there, my parents, they said, you don't need to come back home anymore. So they basically just say, out. Disconnected. Ooh. And if you come back, do you marry, marry someone or work corporation or something? Very conservative life. Then I was like, hell no, hell no. So second time was very difficult. I gave up on uh, convince them. So probably like 10 years, I didn't talk to them, not in a good way. Wow. Yeah. So wow. recently, just recently, we regained our great, great friendship. Now we understand each other. But the start at the beginning, that the time I needed the support the most, they disconnected. And then oh I, didn't know, I didn't know how to explain my wish. I also disconnected them because I knew they said no. So mm. I gave just to run. Right. Yeah. And so you you basically went there all alone. You had your, your uh, there was a, a mom, your mom's friend that was in New York. Um, and tell me, what is it, what is it you love about Alexander Technique? What is it you love about what you do? Uh, so Alexander Technique is uh, about the posture and the daily life movement. But how I, I was so fascinated and this technique changed my life was, as I said, I was, okay, I'm going my way. I'm gonna make it happen by myself. Always mine is, you know, fighting force, more, more. If I cannot do this, I will practice 10 times more, kind of, you know, mentality. Yeah. Then I, I was hitting the wall. At that time, I, I wanted to become a professional dancer. So that was my another dream. So always pushing, pushing. Then of course I start to heart and then my body building up unnecessary way, very much, which I didn't want. I exhausted all the time. And just negative thing happening. Then this technique taught, uh, you know, taught me 
a lot, but one thing it's really changed my thought upside down. This, this technique is all about let's, um, let's not do unnecessary effort. Don't mm. do it too much. Just undo it. Just undo yeah. it. So it took me a while to understand. No, I want to do something to be better. But this technique, no, let's do. Let's, let's give up. Let's release unnecessary force, unnecessary energy. Then I was like, wait a second. Then after that, I start to learn release unnecessary thing. Little mm -hmm. bit more understanding, taking care of my body. Then my body start to move so powerfully in ease that brought me that highest uh, my physical performance as a dancer. So I, yeah. I, I joined a professional dance company. Then my body type also changed. I was the biggest fat dancer in the mm -hmm. company. Yeah, very macho because I did uh, so much unnecessary uh, muscle exercise. Oh, which so you're doing I, weights and stuff. Yeah, because I thought I had to be strong. You uh -huh. know? But, but I never enjoy. I almost beaten up my body, beaten up myself every day with unnecessary effort at gym or run. So I quit it. <laughs> so now you're flowing, you're flowing because I saw you dance and it's very flowing and it's very flexible and mm -hmm. it's very feminine, feminine and sexy to watch. So you, um, so that's, that's amazing because I, I, I guess that's the thing we are, you know, so conditioned to maybe like a lot of women conditioned to think that by being masculine, yeah. then we can achieve more by really pushing, you know, careers and everything what you're saying is is it's just surrendering and going with the flow to be a bit more intentional with the way that we are so we it's embracing the more the feminine power exactly. within us. yeah you got to find exactly wow. yeah. yeah okay so that's beautiful and how so how does um, because i'm interested i so when you we know that alexander's technique is about posture is about flow and really releasing to to be a bit more feminine how does that like you know maybe tell us about stories how you've helped some of your clients to really you know um i guess what problem they had and how the alexander technique has helped them so people can relate right yeah so i have let's say three doors inviting the people then usually these three reasons are most of the main reason people come to see me for help so one is health, of course. They have colonic pain, then they have um, anxiety that mental, unhealthy things going on, then uh, fatigue, less energy. So whatever it is that the physical disorder, so they wanna be health physically, that's of course the door, the reason. Then secondary, this is a fun, uh, beauty. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to be, yeah, beautiful, elegant, powerful, sexy. So, yeah, for the daily life, yeah, I think I, I love women so much because they are so cute and then they are so powerful when they talk about how to be more beautiful. So yeah, of course, in a daily life or in a, a work situation, and also like uh, yeah, fashion week, the runway show, the model, I teach them too. So wherever you know women are, uh, we can be beautiful. So let's say how to walk, and how to sit, and how to turn. Just oh my god, it's like finishing school. <laughs> It's like yeah. finishing school. Yeah. I, I always wanted to go to finishing school. Oh, yeah. It could. Yeah. It so for could. any kind of movement in daily life, we can use because every single moment we enjoy our beauty and then we can share our beauty to the world, right? So, yeah. Some girls, hey, Nelko, you know what? For one girl, it was pretty, I want to share. She has a bad lower back pain so first the door was health yeah 
she has a helonia. And then, you know, for a while we practice and then she totally get a little bit, no pain, then she, she can work all day. Then next she came to me. I thought that she, we practiced about, you know, how to prevent uh, future pain, but she started to ask, now go, I want to learn how to walk a little bit sexier. <laughs> Yeah, we can do it, but what's happening? Then she said, I met a cute boy, then I was <laughs> to date with him. Oh my God. So I was like, okay, let's do it. And then we also practice how to walk with high heels. You know, people start to enjoy the fashion, then clothes and posture movement related so well. So we wow. practice. Yeah, wear high heels and a nice dress. And so, yeah, people, people's interest is a switch. Then, uh, yeah, when I worked at the old folks' home, even 80s, 90s grandmas, they still want to, you know, improve their beauty look. So yeah. in that way, yeah, second reason, the beauty. Then, of course, for men too. Men want to be beautiful. That's good too. Recently, they come to see me. They want to prevent a beautiful but confident posture for their business. So that's beautiful too. Not only much away, they want to be nice, beautiful. And nice. Then, uh, that's the uh, second one for beauty. Yeah. Good. The third one, this is interesting. Maybe in my case, initially, that was my door. So this is a physical uh, talent physical skill. So in my case, I wanted to level up my dancer skill. Why people can raise their, you know, legs so much high, why they can <laughs> turn, why they have that much stamina after a 30 minute moving, they still like this, but I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so what's different, do you know? Then I thought, oh, they had well-trained because I started to dance like 18 years old. That's very late. So I thought that their body, my body talent is different, but it is the same. So for instance, dancing, and I also teach like an athlete, you know, Olympic athlete. And interesting thing, uh, playing instrument, pianist and flutist. So oh. musician, they also need physical uh, talent to help move faster or, you know, open their arms. Oh, and, yeah. So it's, it's kind of like ex uh, extending or flexibility or stamina. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so wow. That's what I call it the physical uh, skill. Then, mm -hmm. yeah, sports, music, dancing, then also voice too. This is our physical ability. So, oh. a breathing, voice, singing, same category, but we can improve our breathing, we can improve our voice. Some people have a big complex, their voice is too. Uh, too quiet, then always people asking you, what, what did yes. you say? Or they are too loud or yeah, profession wise, like an uh, anchor on TV show. Yeah, the profession wise, they, yeah, they use their voice. So that's Wow, also so, so you're basically looking at the whole human body and really optimizing it. Exactly. Mm. They usually, our habit, our pattern, is tension so wherever we have it's yeah related to what we are doing what we are being so this wow. three yeah uh, main doors i can help uh people's life wow that's amazing i i didn't realize that like you know there was so many um different facets of of your to the exam technique that you can actually solve um yeah. So it, yeah, it's kind of like opening all portals to the, the like connecting the body with uh, and make it much, you, you're actually working with the minds. Like last time you'd said that posture, like, you know, whatever you're doing, it's not so much the, the um, you know, the physical aspect of it, but mm -hmm. also opening up the mind 
right. to that. Yeah, yes, yes. So people ask me, okay, now go, so you are posture coach. So you're gonna <laughs> beaten us up, just being straight and you ask us a lot of exercise. So that is the main knowledge a lot of people have. Okay, I want from this posture, I want to be here. The first link, they think, oh, I have to get more muscle strength. Mm -hmm. See my belly up, my back has uh, need is more stronger, something like that. That's one way I respect that. But, uh, you know, I didn't like muscle exercise or going to gym yes. them. It's always yes. a week to week, I start to, nah. Then I feel like I'm a loser. I repeat it mm -hmm. many times. But the why I'm using this for about 20 years for myself is, as you said, this is a training of thinking, consciousness, mm -hmm. awareness. So uh, let's see. Yeah, maybe you can. You guys can join me. Okay, so I'm very tired. My posture is like this at the end of the day. Then if I have to use muscle uh, strength, then okay, bring my straight up, shoulders, chest up, chin down, my, I don't know, hands together. Okay, let's keep this as long as you can. This is, right. yeah, we need more muscle maybe. Yeah. yeah. But this is tiring then this is almost i feel like i'm faking yeah and and i feel sad because i don't want to be like this the stiff mm. yeah so i don't feel like myself so what we practice what the thinking you know meaning is okay oh my god i'm tired no posture but first i start to think okay let's undo our too much effort so this posture seems like no effort, right? No pressure, just the. But actually I'm pushing my neck so forward yeah. with the heaviness. So here is too much things going on. Mm -hmm. Then I start to think, okay, my neck, allow my neck to be longer and allow my neck to be free. So this is a kind of a mantra. We have a some set of a mantra. Then instead of, oh, okay, I have to do this. I start to think, okay, long neck, long neck, easy neck. Okay, I release my backside, you know, tension. Then there is uh, that uh, direction our body can be released. So our torso is up. So just I start to think up, up. It's like a mantra. Okay, my neck long, to the up, up. As I think, then my body join. So then I start to release. Then I start to enjoy uh, length of my neck. Then it's lead my whole torso going up. Mm. And result is just there. So this is how uh, we approach by thinking. So yeah. it's like communicating and talking, telling yourself, yes. Yes. talking in so, the mind, the body. That's right. Then every moment together, every moment as I think, I'm sitting, right? And as I think, I'm, for instance, open up my shoulder. So this is not just one hour training in 24 hours. Okay, done. No, it's... Mm. And we can relate it even now we talk instead of i'm just yeah wendy that's right <laughs> you know i can yeah. i wish inside oh okay i have a little bit tension here my shoulder coming you know forward then just a slight I'm saying, okay for shoulder we practice widening that second one but okay my shoulder widening 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 then that's kind of invite me to that uh uh open easy in a place so in that way always we can connect to our body and mind wherever we are wherever you know so it's a it's a habit yeah so it's a habit it's an ongoing uh process where we're actually thinking uh, yes. yeah so 
Wow. Thinking is actually nervous system, right? If I speak in scientifically, this is very basic though, but not many people uh, live with together. So why our muscle work? Because uh, automatically our brain, our nervous system is telling us, hey, Naoko, lay your hand. That's why my hands move. But if we concentrate on too much only muscle exercise or muscle strength, then it's kind of disconnected our heart, our mind. But it happened, we can do that. But we do that uh, thinking and uh, nervous system, beautiful, you know, uh, how can I say, uh, work together. So automatically brain thinking, but we do that consciously. Okay, my fingertips lead, my fingertips lead, my arms is up, and my arms is up. Then we start to move. So that kind of initiation of a movement. So it, it's really um, about, um because like you know we I, for me like it's you no know, i never really think about okay i should be sitting this way sometimes like you know i'll slouch and then i realize oh hey hold on i just do it right but it's no conscious thinking of like you know hey you stretch and relax and mm -hmm. kind of like broaden your shoulders and stuff so it's a it's a new way of actually thinking you're teaching people to, a new way of thinking so that they do connect with their body yeah yeah then some people said, but now go 24 hours of consciousness, I know, but it's impossible, then it's difficult. Then yes, it is. But what I request is you don't need to keep thinking, keep thinking as practice. For instance, my lesson is 60 minutes. So 60 minutes, we constantly think, feel, move, think, feel, move. Yeah, because it's practice we do, but my homework gonna be not okay remember you have to keep thinking you have to keep this posture as i said this is undo releasing practice so if you are um have the moment you catch up oh i'm shorting my neck okay let's undo and lengthen release <sighs> breathe better oh i look good just that moment we call inhibition then we can come out from our all day this tiring yeah. posture so how many times we can oh pause release then of course we start to work it's happen come back but this is not that thing because we know how to get out from there so how many not always to keep doing it how many times you can release yourself in a day, then our body is actually love this feeling. We love this feeling, oh, not straight enough. Oh, okay, now my neck is released, feel better, breathe better, look better. Then gradually we notice that we start to like to come here, love this feeling more than here so that's the beauty of a physical talent also so i would say yeah no harsh how uh, can i say beaten up um exercise here we always release we always invite a better feeling so it becomes a natural yeah. natural um way of being because it's it's just it feels good and oh. we reset our body just naturally over time yeah. through repetition yeah that's wow. right that's right so that that's so how did you like I, you, you worked with um like domestic violence women mm -hmm. how does alexander technique work for them yes so ah uh, where should i share so in my case when i visited the domestic shelter that uh manager asked me they cannot sleep with tension, with anxiety, with fear. So please do something for uh, better sleep. That was uh, my series. Then when I visited them, I observed them. They, how can I say, they close up their feeling physically, mentally, of course, they just escaped from that situation. Some girls has injured 
it was a very hard path to look at with baby. And so it's, it was really difficult to practice because after we suffered pain, it's so hard to feel pain. It's so hard to face what we are feeling, right? But I invite them to practice with me, even they are very tough um, situation, which part of them will physically feel good. Then focus on that feeling. Mm -hmm. So gradually, I suggested every little part, even if it can be wrist. <laughs> oh. or, yeah, just a lot of people shrinked because they got scared. Then I can invite, okay, release because it's good. No, because uh -huh. sometimes they need this because it's a protection. It's good thing. Yeah. Some moment we need it. We cannot force, okay, because this is beautiful, you have to do it. That's another pushing. So we don't do that. But even in this small, um, scary posture, uh, I start to ask, can you release your finger a little bit? You can be there. Like, can you soften up this grip? Then their posture or their action be, okay, I want to try that. They just release a little bit. Then it starts to move. Then we can invite our body and emotion is a little bit bigger. Then it depends on people, but in that way, start to feel more. But first, you know, this unnecessary part we open, we need to open intentionally, but they start to enjoy that the feeling. Actually, now go, I can breathe better when I release this. I didn't know, and a lot of people didn't know they have that much tension. And mm -hmm. some people, their uh, face, you know, that the teeth always, oh, yes. even we just, you know, having tea, I can see they have this kind oh, of tension yes. going on. Then that's my job. Would you, would you, um, would you mind just release a little bit? Then she said, really, did I do that? Then I was like, yeah. Then she said, wow, this much, I had tension in my face, I didn't know. So even that um, visible tension or effort, we, we start to release, then yeah, breathe better or a little bit relax. And uh, also, they sometimes they know this and I'll go, I still need this because this feel good. Mm. This feel good. I was like, go ahead, go ahead. But I want to feel safe by doing that. In this way, emotion, mind and posture, the strong team. So it's not just, okay, let's be stronger. Let's go to that uh, exercise. Yeah. They cannot do it. And then they don't need to do that, but they need to have a good how can I say, relationship with that um, state of the body. Yeah. So it's kind of like it, the, the rose that's kind of like, you know, slowly you let it unfold rather than trying to force it and, and kill it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a lot on, of passion. Yeah. online, I guide my work because I can see where is attention then even, okay, now go, I cannot release my hand because I cannot just, I cannot. Then I start to ask, okay, so then can you release your shoulder? Then some girl said, shoulder, okay, I can release. Oh, wait a second, oh, it's open. So in that way, little by little, the tension can be open. So I can do by word, guiding word because um, Domestic violence, if they beaten up physically, their body refused to be touched. Yes. Yeah. A lot of brushback coming in. So I don't use my hands, but mm -hmm. if they allow, yeah, this is a uh, hands-on, we call hands-on. We uh, practice three years training. So I put my hands on them, guided a little bit this way. So 
in a way they they had a little bit you know knowledge how to and they accepted even tension it's okay but there is a time then chance to be released any time 24 hours by myself so i yeah i told them when you sleep if you find the same pattern then let's release then feel the something better feeling so wow. that was, yeah for instance one thing i i did at the domestic violence shelter yeah wow that's powerful that's really powerful so it it, it does take a lot of um compassion when yes. you work with them right. yeah yeah that's probably yeah. right yeah. So, yeah, I, I didn't realize that um, I've never, you know, looked at it that, that way, how, um, yeah, I guess I, I understand because you can't just go in and just ask them just to release because they've been so traumatized yeah. by the experience. They need to um, somehow find some sort of safety and, and it's just like small things and to, to small steps to, to cope again. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah beautiful so um you also you because i i saw your video you posted a video when you were dancing again is that something that you're going back that's beautiful i'm, I'm going to share it with the audience as well um is that something that you've decided to go back to to now yeah definitely definitely my story was like um yeah i was a teaching last 10 years very uh, focused on teaching then i i stopped to dance and perform it was okay but a couple of years ago i wanted to dance again so i created that the film and um i start to see my uh student i I teach a lot of performing artists, so they dance beautifully, freely. Then I start to feel, oh my God, I want to dance with you guys. <laughs> so they inspire me using the Alexander Technique way to move. So uh, 2020, March, we actually uh, start our dance project or dance performing show, performance show. That was, I didn't perform 10 years. So it was very exciting, but COVID kicked in. So theater closed one week before our show. So yeah, I'm still holding this um, dance project, but yet I remember that, oh, I have that dance film. Then I didn't know how to show, how to release. Then, you know, we met at the leaders training uh, HCL, then I thought, wow, this is the most beautiful group mm. and I can connect. Then, yeah, safely I could share my um, dance film. So yeah, I shared finally. Then after that, just some thought of, yeah, it's a little spiritual, but some sort of a message just coming down then just you know what, just keep dancing, keep dancing. And uh, it's okay, it's okay for you to keep dancing. So I felt like I got the permission to keep dancing as long as I can. So what is it that, about dancing that um, that is, you know, so inspiring for you? That is um, energy for live life force because uh, I remember when I was in Kyoto teenager high school my mom took me to the dance show they were from New York and modern dance company uh, first modern dance company which built in a uh, built by uh, black people so they have a beautiful strong uh, story and movement then at that time, I was studying to uh, for uh, what is it, college, you know, entrance exam. So I always, okay, study, so that's another Japanese thing. <laughs> then that blew my mind. I was like, what? This is the 
this is the life here. They move freely with power and energy, face expression. I was like, wow, I want to live like this. This is the life. This is the life. So that was the first hit. I want to dance then. That kind of, how can I say, that energy and eager to live kind of uh, power. That's really a uh, core of my uh, meaning of dancing for me. Wow. I love it. You can see the passion that you have and the love that you have for it. It's so beautiful. And, it, you know, definitely when I see you dancing, it's, it's just that, um, that, you know, expression, that freedom to express, freedom just to be. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I've been practicing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So thank you so much. And you have, um, you have, I just want to just invite people to, if they want to connect with you and to learn more about the Alexander Technique that you have, a Facebook group. It's called Ascending Air, and I'll put the link in underneath. If anybody, you know, feels that there's something um, that they want to learn more about or they're going through some trauma and they want to, you know, to help themselves to, you know, to release themselves or maybe just to get more self-expression out, um, definitely connect with Nyoko. She's such a beautiful woman. And she's just as she is. Um, I've known you for a good few months now. Oh my God, I feel like we've been, we've known each other for such a long time. So thank you so much for your time, Nyoko. It's such a beautiful um, interview. And it's really opened my eyes to, to really appreciate what Alexander Technique is about and how it can really, um, you know, serve every one of us. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Just stop. Stop the recording. Uh...